everyone today I wanted to go ahead and review the horror pack from May and I'm reviewing the blu-ray pack um, I know it's been a while it's just I've been really busy with different things okay the first movie I wanted to review from the horror pack from May is priest it's about a priest and an organization of priests who have uh, taking care of their community in the way of slaying a bunch of vampire creatures in the past and they think everything is perfectly fine um, all the vampire creatures are gone but uh, one priest happens to hear about a new attack on his family and finds out that his niece has been taken so he has to leave the order and go out and find his knees and battle these new uh, vampire creatures. That w that's basically what this um, movie's about. And it is based on a graphic novel series. I've actually seen them at the bookstore before, like way in the past, but I just never picked them up. I thought it was a, it was pretty creative. There were a lot of different special effects, graphic and, um, you know, practical, which was cool. And when I went back and I watched the special features on this uh, Blu-ray copy, there was quite a bit of content there that I really liked. Like they talked about creating the special um, motorcycles, creating the special weapons, creating the look. And they talked about, you know, the different kinds of um, weapons that were in this post-apocalyptic sort of futuristic world. It just kind of gave you more information about what was going on behind the scenes as well as more of the story which i thought was pretty cool after watching this movie i would definitely watch a sequel because it kind of felt like it was left open for a sequel it would it would be cool but i think this came out quite a few years ago and um i don't know if there are any there's any word about it but i thought it was pretty good it's definitely worth a watch through it's very um, beautifully shot. I really love all the coloration of it. I love the, like I said, the weapons, the creation of that, the practical effects are just pretty cool. And I really like the different, the storyline of the different creatures of uh, vampires. So yeah, um, thought that was pretty cool. I definitely recommend giving it a watch. So that was one vampire movie. That was the first one that I watched. And then the second one I watched, I've seen before, is Stakeland. And um, recently on Netflix, I saw that the, there was a sequel to this, so I have to go back and watch it. Um, really good movie. Another vampire uh, apocalyptic movie. This is kind of like the opposite of the other one, whereas that one seems like at first the people feel like they've got a hold on the situation with vampires. This one is kind of like um, the vampire situation has um, taken over every everything and um, people live in little communities and you know take care of each other and try to avoid the vampires and so in this vampire movie um, there are two main characters a man and a younger boy and the man is played by uh, Nick Damici and I absolutely love him he has been in quite a few different movies that I really enjoy and he always seems to pull out different sort of character aspects and um, it takes me a while like oh that's you know Nick Damici um, because he's such a chameleon he fits in every single one of his roles very well um, and he had a big hand in this movie if I'm remembering correctly he helped you know write the storyline and write the characters and come up with different things in the movie according to the special features he was um, creating different sorts of weapons and you know it was just he was just had a big hand in this movie basically it follows his character and another uh, young boy who is Connor Paolo I hope I'm saying his name right um, and they start traveling around and um, they're trying to slay as many uh, of these vampire creatures as they can. And these are more of like the rabid sort of vampires. Um, and they're trying to find a safe place. So it, it is very reminiscent of like, you know, the zombie sort of stories where they're, they're ravaged by, you know, animalistic sort of creatures. 
and they're trying to find a good place to stay as in a community. Both of them worked really well together. And also Daniel Harris is in this movie and she's a scream queen and it was just really cool to see her pop up in the movie. Overall, I think the story is very well written. It's not, to me, it wasn't like creepy or anything. It just had some really, it had really a good storyline following a couple of characters becoming family and trying to survive. So if you're into that kind of movie, this is definitely something that you wanna watch. So take a, a peek at this movie. I'm glad I have it in my collection. I actually had it on DVD, but for some reason, the only way I could watch it was in my computer. I wasn't able to watch it on regular DVD players, which was weird. So I'm really glad I have this and I'm looking forward to watching the sequel to this movie. Um, also, this had a lot of really good special features on this disc. It had, you know, lots of behind the scenes. Um, it had commentary. It had the um, the film festivals that they premiered this movie at. They had pre-production storyboards. Um, the storyboards were super cool to look at and see how involved um, Nick DiMinci was in, in creating the story. Also, we get like a couple of, you know, cameos in this uh, movie, Larry Festin which is awesome. He uh, is in a lot of different movies and has his hand in a lot of different movies that I absolutely appreciate. So yeah, it was really nice to see him pop up and have and know that he had his hand in um, helping create this awesome movie. Definitely an awesome movie, Stakeland. Definitely check it out. Um, I do recommend having that one in your collection because that one's really cool. Um, okay, so the next one that I went ahead and watched from the May Horror Pack was Galaxy of Horrors, and this was our anthology series. It was from the creators of Minutes Past Midnight, which is another horror anthology that we had gotten pre in previous pack. This movie is a uh, very sci-fi. Um, basically deals with the horrors of the future, horrors of different kinds of sci-fi creations. I definitely liked it. There were, I'm trying to remember all the different ones that there were. There were so many different good films on this on this um, movie, and they all went together pretty well as like a sort of futuristic um, sci-fi feel. There was a story about drug use. There was a story about being connected into computers and how connected um, we are as a society, and maybe sort of commentary on that. So there's a there's another one that re I really liked that was about a cell phone. Um, listening in to different sort of conversations, which was interesting, an interesting take on, um, you know, how our society is progressing. There were so many, it's, it's hard to even, you know, go back and retell about it, but it was really interesting. And also I watched the special features and the special features happen to have a ton more um, short horror films, which were also really interesting. There was a horror um, short that was about uh, Christmas. There was a horror short that was a little more on the comedy side about um, food and then there like garlic bread which was kind of funny. There was just so many and they were all pretty interesting and you know some stuck out more than others. Some were more memorable. The ones that they selected for the uh, sci-fi anthology all went together and all had like a social commentary thread that went through. Just kind of like that one TV series on um, Netflix that I haven't quite finished yet. And I, I, the name of it is just escaping me. Um, it's kind of like the Twilight Zone. If you guys remember what that horror um, TV series is where um, it's all about sort of futuristic um, horrors, let me know what that's called. I can't think of it. It's kind of like the Twilight Zone, but not, and it's got three seasons. Can't quite remember what it's called. So just leave me that down below because it's making me crazy. But it's it's kind of like those, those ones that they selected for the anthology is kind of like that. So if you really like that TV show, you should check this, this uh, set of movies out. Definitely an interesting one to have in your collection. And even if you're not into like the whole sci-fi horror, like I said, the other uh, horror shorts that are on the special features are um, just as long, if not longer, than the actual anthology that they selected for um, the sci-fi ones. So yeah, check it out. Um, the last one I watched, which was the one I was most excited to watch because I thought it was going to be um, really cool 
um, was the night of something strange. Okay. Um, so this movie is basically about a group of kids who go on summer break and um, weird things start happening and not in a good way for them. I did not go into this movie expecting what I got because I didn't even read the back because I usually don't like reading the back. But I think it's probably best to go into this movie knowing what you're going into. Be that way you're not like taken aback by it. It was very gross. And um, it was about... Um, sort of, it's like a zombie STD horror and you know even reading the back I, it would not give you the impression <sighs> of what you're in store for it's about a group of kids who go out on break and to be honest the characters aren't that likable they're picking at each other they're you know being really kind of crass and gross with each other and they're supposed to be friends so for me that's it's um, it pulls me out of the movie because I feel like they should be you know getting along and kind and building those relationships in the beginning but they were just kind of gross and you know pulling gross prank pranks on each other and stuff like that so that kind of turned me off of of it a little bit and then um there was a scene where like opening scene you kind of get what you're in for um, and I'm sorry, um, I'm going to go ahead and give a, a couple little spoilers here because um, and usually I, I do pretty well without giving spoilers, but I think it's just essential that if you are going to this movie, you kind of know what you're going into. That way you can maybe appreciate it a little more than I did. Um, in the first scene, it's just like a... Um, I'm what I'm gonna call like a rapey zombie scene and it's like these people are becoming the undead and they are going out and spreading their STD their zombie STD by going out and um, you know uh, raping other people and then they you know get infected and then it keeps going everything the way the way that was done was really really gross to me and um, I, d I just didn't like it and when it comes to that kind of stuff like if I feel like it's overly grotesque and like it I feel like it doesn't play into the story um, it kind of turns me off of a movie but I know that there were a lot of people that really liked this movie it just wasn't my style of horror I guess um, I usually I don't really mind but I don't mind you know gross things in horror movies but it was just like constant after constant after constant after constant and um, and it does say right here at the top you know from it ain't cool news the new king of gross out horror films and that really is <laughs> what it is you know um, though I did think it was really cool how they shot this on su on such a low budget um it just was cool because i got to i did go back and i watched sorry about that my dog's barking i did go back and watch it without chris because he didn't want to watch it after it got to a certain point i was trying to watch it all the way through and i had to wait for him to you know go to work so i could finish watching it because he didn't he just thought it was gross and um I went and I watched the behind the scenes and I thought it was really cool to see all of the work that went into this movie, um, all the creative decisions that went into this movie. Um, and to be honest, the, the behind the scenes was my, my favorite part about this movie. Um, oh, besides the gas station lady, um, she was so cool. Like her little one liners were pretty funny. Um, and also the two guys that were in that were in the truck were kind of funny too. I thought the ending was really interesting and um, kind of funny in a morbid way. Once I got past, you know, realizing what the movie was about, I was able to enjoy it a little more. I think it was about 
more than halfway through when I was like, oh, this is this is the meat of the story right here. I really like this part. It was probably about the, the climax of the of the story, and I really liked it. It was like after, um, gosh, it was after they started to real the teens started to realize what was going on, which was more than halfway through um, the movie. So once it got to that point, I started to kind of enjoy the storyline. And um, like I was saying, the special uh, features were really cool because you got to have like behind the scenes cast interviews and you got to see how they were filming and the storyline and, you know, just like different sort of comment commentaries about it, um, which I liked. I like seeing the, the, the effort put into these kinds of movies. So for me, it wasn't my favorite movie but I know that there were a lot of people like, this is just my my opinion on it. Um, so if you wanna go watch it, check it out. And if you do watch it, let me know what you think because it was like a eh, kind of a movie for me. Um, overall, I think the horror pack for me was pretty solid. Um, I really enjoyed the anthology because it's just a lot of really short stories that you get and a lot of different really cool stories that you might never have been exposed to. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I highly recommend checking this one out, Galaxy of Horrors. And um, these two were really cool to have in my collection because they're, I love vampire movies and they were two different types of post-apocalyptic vampire movies. This one was amazing, Stakeland. So um, let me know what you guys think about um, the movies from May's Horror Pack. I'm gonna go ahead and sort of um, probably list off to the side the retail value of these movies and you know the price of Horror Pack so you guys can kind of compare. Um, but I really honestly do think that Horror Pack is worth the subscription service. You get a lot, you get four movies each month and for me it's absolutely fun to get more movies each month along with the bills. It's like the fun part of my going to my mailbox and um it's nice to have a nice surprise and also i've been exposed to different horror movies that i wouldn't have you know purchased or um heard of before so i don't know let me let me know what you guys think about about these um movies let me know what you think about horror pack so overall i think this is a very solid horror pack um don't forget to let me know what you guys think about the movies um, and I'll see you guys later.